Hi. My full names are Patrick Davidson Madwa Brochuku Akumakuye Osagi. Those are my full names. You know, Nigerians like to answer a lot of long names. Each one of them have deep meanings. My stage name. Oh wow, it's a long time somebody asked me that question. Okay, I remember I used to be called the preacher, or Sagi the preacher. Anyway, I ended up being a pastor also, so it's a prophecy that came to pass. Well, currently I'm a missionary pastor under the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Southern African Region 1. Um, I work as the pastor in charge for Lusaka Province 1, which is the foremost province of uh, the Novel Province in Zambia. Um, and I'm also the youth and young adults pastor for the same region. That's, it involves Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Angola, and Madagascar, and Zimbabwe, you know. And I'm also the prayer coordinator and also the music director for the same region. Um, that's my present um, um, occupation. We are here because I'm launching a brand new album. You know, so today we are launching my single, which is called Wonder. Um, I've not released an album in the last uh, almost uh, uh, 19 years. The last time I did an album was 2001 or 2000, 2000 2001 thereabout, um, and that album was called Salmon. But today we are launching one called Wonder, and that is the reason why we are here. Um, so in 2003, I was transferred to Western Province. Western Province is over uh, almost 600 and something kilometers away from the capital city of Lusaka. And I was sent to that church. We reported with my wife and I. And the church was having some type of challenges, particularly with equipment. And we, we visited a particular pastor, Pastor George Dak, who was, you know, a, a wonderful support to us when we were there that time. Who, buy clothes for the uh, widows and all the things he was doing for the orphans and supporting the church. So one, one particular Sunday we visited him, you know, and he, he just by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit said the Holy Ghost told him to give us their keyboard and their guitars, you know, and they gave us the, the guitars in particular, the keyboard we took back, the guitars I stayed with a bit and after a few days I left with it to Mongo. Now my way, as I was going to get on a bus, you know, those of you who know Intercity those days, I was passing by Cairo Road and just somewhere along the road because I couldn't play guitars. That's the only instrument I cannot play. I could not play us at that time. That's 2007, there about, you know. Um, the Holy Spirit, I saw a, a blind man playing a guitar and there was some, uh, like a basket in front of him and the blind man said, he was playing the guitars. You know, the Holy Spirit said, give this man whatever little money you have. So I gave the man the, the little money I had and the man said in Bemba, Lesa Mipal. And I said, Amen, which means God bless you, you know. Um, so I left and all through that journey, as I was going, the song now started coming. The song now began to come. So I noticed that it was because I gave that man an offering. That was why that song opened up. Now, by the time I got home, you know, the Holy Spirit now gave me the positioning of fingers to play on the guitars. And I began to play just like that. And that's how the song Wonder came about. It's a very powerful story. And um, we've had that song that my children, everybody knows the song. In fact, they were even one of the people that sang. Uh, my daughter sang the vocal parts in the song. That's how the song came about. It's what I was inspired because of the things that um, happened, and that's how uh, Wonder came about. The song Wonder. Um, I have an Afro jazz background. I'm a vocalist, but I have an Afro jazz background. I'm a saxophonist myself. I play several uh, brass instruments and percussions and string keyboards and all these other things that we play. You know, all kinds of instruments. There's no instrument I can't really play anyway. You know, violins and strings and whatever. You know, so I have an Afro jazz background, and that influences this music. It's gospel, but it has an Afro jazz background feel. You know, those are the influences that you will find in the song. A lot of vocal arrangements and a lot of um, a, 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 a lot of a, a, a focus on the arrangement and the ability to be able to minister to people through the quality of the arrangement as well. Why by 
we are trying to also make the vocal very simple that anybody can sing along. That is the style that you find in the composition. And originally, I did the song already before, some years back, 2008 to be precise. Um, that's a long time ago. So I wanted a younger producer, somebody who will be able to make it more contemporary. Uh, he has an idea of the sounds that his generation listen to, and that's the generation I want to talk to and communicate to. Uh, his name is Mapalo N. Mapalo. He, he has assisted us with the production of the song. I had already done the arrangement. You know, and you know the quality of the producer is that he just adds one or two things, and the song comes alive. And that is the the um, credit I want to give to Mapalo. He's a wonderful producer. You know, Zambia has a lot of wonderful people, extremely gifted human beings that most people don't really appreciate or know. Mapalo N. Mapalo is one of them. And we we produced the, the music was recorded uh, partly in his studio and partly at. And the total com complete production was done at a, a Blazer event. Ben Blazer, the former Zambian music producer, was the one that did the mixing and the mix down <coughs> and the arrangement for everything. Then I had different all-star musicians, part of it. There was Kasonde, Kasonde on the drums, Kasonde Sing on the drums. Um, and then there was Mapalo Mapalo on the keyboards. There was uh, Sheba on the, on the bass guitar. There was uh, Sir Jones, we call him Jones, the former Zambian guitarist. Was on the guitars and then I had my daughters Mercy and uh, uh, Grace on the vocals and Temi Tokwe also assisted Ashola on the vocals also. Then I had uh, one of Zambia's best vocal singers, male singers, you know, uh, Mwango is the one who did the vocal vocal part for the male voice uh, and those are the people that, that I worked with to produce and to put <clears throat> this song together and I hope you really enjoy it and it will be a blessing to you. And this is the best part. Um, you can download the song on my website. You can just uh, go to my website. That's www.pastorsagepd.org. Pastorsagepd.org. You will go to the music section uh, because there are many other products that are on that website which you can also enjoy. There are my sermons are there, my messages are there, audio and video. Uh, my books is there, the electrician, you can also download it also. And also Wonder is there, you can also download that one also, you know, on that website. Remember, the website is www.pastorsagepd.org. That's www.pastorsagepd.org. We are hoping soon to be able to come up with an app so that, you know, you will be able to go to Google Play and download the app and then go straight to the website. Uh, I'll be coming up with that announcement when that app is complete and when that time is here. Um, well, my final word is, our God is a God of wonders, you know. Wonderful is one of the name of, names of Jesus that the Bible reveals in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 that the church is not amplifying at all. You know, wonderful, so you know, wonderful counselor of the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Now, we don't amplify that part of Jesus, that is his name, you know. So my objective on this song is to be able to elevate that aspect of Jesus in our lives, that, that the anointing that Jesus carries is supposed to produce wonders. So wherever you are listening to us from, I trust God that the God of wonders will begin to perform wonderful things and wonders in your life. And anything that doesn't uh, elevate to the level of wonders, the Lord will remove them by fire and replace them with wonders. For shame, you will get wonders. For all kinds of suffering, you will get wonders. For all kinds of limitation, you will get wonders. Whether you are sick, it will be wonders that will come your way. Whether you are blind or deaf or dumb or whatever you are going through, the God of wonders, the one who has been wonderful to me, will bring wonders in your life. In the name of the Lord will be glorified. So remember to go to www.pastorsage. Um, uh, pd.org pastor sage pd that's one small letters dot org and download the song and be part of the interactive things that will be happening there and the lord will bless you uh, and, and pastor sage i'm signing off i'll see you another time maybe the next time we'll be talking about it again we'll be talking about the full album and then i can give you a few documentary of myself my music history and everything that i am but today we want to just talk about one so go and download as many of you as you can we need as many people to download so that the, the, the thing can spread around the world. So if you download, share the links to as many as possible. 
our aim is to get over 500 million downloads for this particular um, uh, uh, sort of single. That will now help us even as we proceed to launch the full album by the grace of God by the end of October. So thank you so much and God bless you.